so close, yet not good enough. Kalijah Lipscomb couldn't quite hang on to an acrobatic fourth down catch deep in Notre Dame territory late. And Vanderbilt's furious rally from 16-0 down falls just short as the eighth-ranked Irish avoid a stunning upset here at home, holding on 22-17. Threw a little high for him, and he had to make a great play, and you know, it just didn't shake out our way. There are no more victories in this game. You win and you lose. That's it. Let's, 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 let, let's not try to uh, sugarcoat it with, okay, we had a chance. That's, that's not what you're looking for. You're looking for the win. The game was decided in the final minute, but Vandy will rue its missed opportunities. The Commodores fumbled at the one, dropped a would-be touchdown, and missed a field goal, scoring just three points on three promising scoring chances. We had our fair share of opportunities to, uh, to either score points, putting the ball in the end zone, or keeping it through the uprights. We were supposed to win that game. We showed that we were a better team. We had too many red zone opportunities and too many opportunities down near the goal line, and we didn't capitalize. There was no hiding the disappointment in the Vanderbilt locker room after the game, but quarterback Kyle Shermer warned it's just one loss and that they can't let it turn into two or three like they did a year ago. Shermer saying, we didn't win the game. That's the bottom line. But we can't pout or feel sorry for ourselves. We need to move forward. In South Bend, Indiana, Steve Lehman, News Channel 5 Sports.